Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the most hilarious moments of the past week. If you never stop halfway on the way to victory, if you're a firm believer that your rounds will pierce the sky, or if you'd love for that to be true, this episode is for you. To infinity and beyond. Let's get started. Gene Raw Chaos knows perfectly well that anti-aircraft guns are perfect weapons against enemy planes, especially those SPAAs equipped with radar. So what? They put their tiny PO2 with those floats dangerously close to the dunes to perform an outstanding suicide attack on this SPAA. Yes, both vehicles were destroyed, but this pilot clearly wins in psychological warfare. Andy915 has rounds that deliver and deliver. Is there anything that can stop them? Look at this. One Centurion round destroys a PT-76, goes through the brick wall in these ruins, and knocks out an IS-3. What do you think of those British rounds now? The 30F-25 shell carries 10 kilograms of explosives in TNT equivalent. So when an Akatsia shoots this at an M18, two more machines explode automatically as a bonus. It's a natural event. Thank you, Foyer 12, for your demonstration of this curious phenomenon. This tanker clearly wasn't aware that the M22 Locust is a rank one machine. Yesified focused on the fact that it's an airborne tank so they drop into a battle multiple ranks above and wreak havoc Rambo style. Let's count their trophies. One M41, one King Tiger, another King Tiger, and a couple more tanks that our ambush and flanking master only neutralized. Simply dropping a nuke is boring. So what if you need to basically jump above your head to earn it? It's boring anyways. Hoffney Duke wanted to break the routine and managed to poke a tank full of holes with their turret and down, well, not down, but ignite a plane before the explosion. Not a second wasted. And now we'll traditionally open live War Thunder, only to hit the jackpot, a Firetruck T-34. Whoa there. You might think it's a joke, but we must add that it follows a real-life machine created in the late 20th century for Shenyang Fire Departments. Well, who said a retired military vehicle's supposed to become a couch potato? There's always a place for professionals. Of course, these modified tanks spew water instead of fire, and this one can't do that just yet. But it already has the right color. By the way, if you're watching a Thunder Show episode after the launch of a major update, please send us moments that happened post-update. Yeah, we remember that glorious battle on the Ash River six years ago. What a day that was. However, we simply can't shoot it anymore. So please don't hold your emails for too long. Bye.